I don't want to make any snap decisions, but this isn't South Croydon. What? I can't hear you for the sign. It isn't South Croydon! All right, there's no need to shout. Hold this. Now, watch. Oh. <laughs> Is it nice in South Croydon? What? It's a paradise compared to this dump. I bet we're not even on Earth. Well, maybe the season hasn't started yet. What? Do you have a season in South Croydon? Come on, where are we? We're in a quarry. Yeah, I know we're in a quarry, but where? Well, how do I know? I don't know all the quarries that... Maybe he knows. Get out of it! Go on, get out of it, quick! Get out of the way! No, Mike! Mike! No! Maybe he knows South Croydon, huh? Does he what? look as if he comes from Simon, South Croydon? run, Doctor! <laughs> Places did you get in here? What? Didn't you see the signs, the flags? Well, you must have heard the hooter. Are you all right? My friend's under that. Oi, you lot! Get down here and get an ambulance! I don't want to sound heartless, but... Well, I'm not taking responsibility. You had no right in here.
Who the devil are you? Are you the top man here? Yeah. We're from yes. the hospital. The girl, you see, she escaped. So she is a lunatic. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. She said she's lost. mad. She's stark, staring, raving mad. Oh, not necessarily. But we have a full emergency scale here. Do you mind if I talk to her for a moment? And we haven't got time for the bedside man now. Please keep out of my way. Men suited up yet. Eldrad must live. Can you punch out the plans of this building on this machine? Yes. Miss Jackson, find out what's delaying that radiation team. Yes, sir. The manual locks are jammed. They can't get past the vision room doors. What's the shutdown situation? All OK, except for the one she's on. What levels are we getting in there? She's soaking up enough ranchers to kill a herd of elephants. Oh, at least, please. I thought I told you to get out of here. Hey, you in the vision room, can you hear me? I am the director of this establishment. Her name's Smith, Miss Smith. Miss Smith, listen very carefully. Your life is in great danger, and so are the lives of many other innocent people. Could I now, what is it you want? Could I speak to her? Can you hear me? What is it you want? Uh, could I speak to her for a moment? I doubt very much whether she'd listen. The level's rising, sir. There's no way we can stop it. That means she's had it. All right, I want a full-scale evacuation. Every person within a radius of 12 miles. Sarah, can me. Can you hear me, Sarah? We've got a full-scale emergency. Sarah, can you hear me? Look, we have a full emergency down here. It's no use. Sarah. Listen to me. No, there's nothing more to say because Eldrad must live. What did she say? <laughs> Eldrad must live. Eldrad must live. Who is Eldrad, Sarah? Some assassin. Shh, shh, shh. Sarah, who is Eldrad? What does he want? Eldrad must live. Eldrad, the creator, the savior. Sarah, what does he want? Eldrad must live. Eldrad must live. Sarah. Keep her talking. I'm going in there. But how can you? All those door locks are jammed. Look. The plants are cooling duct. But the temperature inside the cooling duct is over 200 degrees centigrade. You're a roast, man. Not if I'm quick. I must come with you. No, there's no need. Stupid woman. You must. You must. She will need help. <laughs> It is the law. Eldrad must live. Blast! She's turned it off. Maintenance. Well, a special branch got engineer here. to try and bypass that close we don't television know. in the fission. down to the decontamination room. We'll meet him there. Unbelievable. Yes, there's no radiation. It absorbs it to rebuild tissue, see? The finger's already been replaced. We'd better lock it away before it absorbs more energy. I'll see you, Careful. That's not as harmless as it looks. What happened to the ringer used on Carter and the guard, sir? Sorry, I, I don't know. I can't remember. It must still be there. Driscoll, Driscoll. Yes, sir. 
should have been a small crystal ring about so big in the reactor room. I didn't see anything, sir. Oh. Should I go back and have another look, sir? Would you mind? She must have dropped it when I dragged her out. Yes, all right. Yes, Driscoll, I'll uh, contact you in the control room. Yes, sir. Sarah. Hmm? What? Huh? Sit down. What? Now, listen. I want you to concentrate. Oh, no, that's not fair, not again. Now, Sarah, Eldred. Tell me about Eldred. Driscoll, did you find anything? I can't see anything yet, sir. But why, Sarah? Come on. Why? Tell me why. Eldred must live. We must obey. Who are we, Sarah? We who have seen the light of Castria. Who saw the light? Did Carter see the light? Eldred must live. Professor Watson! Yes? There's nothing here, sir. All right, leave it. Now you'd better come out of there. Hey, sir. Tell me more, Sarah. No Tell me more. No more. Elder must live. Sarah. El There's no need to obey the word, Elder. Put him out of your mind. You're free of him. I'm free of him. Yes. Come. Elder must live. What? Just testing. No joy from Driscoll, I'm afraid. What do you mean, no joy? Well, he, uh, he hasn't found that ring. But it must have been up there, and he must have found it. Well, why didn't he say? Because it affects the will of people who've been in contact with it. Remember Carter? He tried to kill me. Then we are in trouble. What is this place? Where have I come to? who have found me, and who now seek to destroy me. No matter. They shall fail, as the obliteration has failed. <laughs> Strange form or not, Eldrad lives and shall again rule Castria! Right, you stay here. I'll go on. It shouldn't take long, one way or another. Good. Let's go, then. Not you. You stay with Professor Watson. I think you'd better do as he says this time. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should. Where am I going to? No! I worry about you. Look, anyway, who found that thing? You did. Right. So, I'm involved. It could have been me, not Driscoll. And besides, I'm from Earth and you're not. That's true. Exactly. Yes, but... Ah, oh, but what? I worry about you. So, be careful. 
We'll both be careful. Come forward. You must be Eldred. I was only going to say, how do you do? <laughs> Are you responsible for this stupid attempt to destroy me? No. Tell me, how did you prevent the missiles from exploding? I absorbed the energy of the explosion into myself to complete my regeneration. I thought so. Didn't I say I thought that was it? I thought... You are not of this backward planet. What are you doing here among these primitives? Well, I'm here to help them. I'm called the Doctor, and this is Sarah Jane Smith. Say hello to the lady. Hi. Eldred, can I ask you the same question? I am Eldred, creator of Castria. Why did you try to destroy me? You've got it wrong, Eldred. We're the ones who saved you. to the TARDIS. Well, what do you think? I congratulate you, Doctor. The achievements of your people in temporal engineering are indeed as impressive as I have heard. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Where are its armaments? They're in here. Your weapons won't work in here. We're in a state of temporal grace. We're multidimensional. What do you mean? Well, in a sense, you see, we don't exist while we're in here. So you can't hurt us, and we can't hurt you. She can't hurt us? No. Right. There's a question I can ask you now. Why are you helping her? Well, in a sense, I think you could say I'm helping Earth, Sarah. After all, I can't allow Eldra to go on smashing nuclear power stations. Who knows how big she might become, or what damage she might do. Anyway, I want to see Castia. Why? Oh, what on earth for? Well, travel broadens the mind. And a stitch in time saves nine. So what does that mean? Look before you leap. Will you stop all this childish prattle? Time is passing. Yes. I wonder would you just give me a hand with the coordinates? I'm a bit vague on the exact whereabouts of Castia. Of course, Doctor. What is the expansion factor? Oh, just punch up 74380000WHI121272729 double one E eight E X four one 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 three zero nine eleven five. And then see what happens. No, I don't think so, no. Could I just check your coordinates? Why? Do you doubt my ability? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want to make sure we get there. So for once, you'll have to trust someone, won't you? Only fools trust. I trusted them, and they tried to obliterate me. Eldrad, you'll achieve nothing on Castria unless you overcome this paranoid obsession with treachery. You must cooperate. Again, you leave me no alternative, Doctor. Oh, don't be so abject. All we want is your cooperation. If you've misset those coordinates, symbolic resonance will occur in a tracoid time crystal. And if that happens, there'll be no chance of us landing anywhere. Ever. 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 We've landed. You will have to trust me, Doctor.
Is that Castria? It is. It's very nice. Solar winds have devastated it. But I will reclaim it again. May have left it a bit late, Eldrad. That hurricane's been blowing for 150 million years. How is the atmosphere constituted? Near enough Earth normal. And the radiation count? A bit high. That's all I should need. After you destroyed the barriers, after we knew for certain that life on the surface was finished and the alternative was a miserable subterranean existence, the Castrian race chose final oblivion. And because they feared you might return to wage eternal war throughout the galaxy, they elected also to destroy the race band. Stritter! I gave their lives! So now you are king, as was your wish. I salute you from the dead. Hail, Eldred, king of nothing. Is this my reward? I created this world! It is mine! Mine by right! Well, Rokon seems to have solved the problem for us. A drastic solution. I wouldn't want to live down here. And I wouldn't want him as a leader. Yes. I shall. Very backward and primitive. And they have the necessary aggression. I shall rule them. I shall be their god. And you will take me back. Oh, no. That's not in the contract. A one-way ticket only. My obligation to you is over. You're in your own world now. <laughs> you have my ring? Give it to me? No. I don't think so. It is my key to eternity! Give me the ring! Oh, well. Since you put it so nicely. Here. Catch. Come on, sir. The gravity of the law finally caught up with him. Yeah, it's all very well, but that was a bit rash, giving him his ring back. Yes. Oh, well, what did you give him back, then? My magician's stick. Aww. Come on. I'll never be warm again. Never, ever, ever. No, we're well out of that. Goodbye, Castria. The call. The call from Gallifrey. Gallifrey. After all this time, Gallifrey. Can't take Sarah to Gallifrey. 
Must get her back home. Must reset the coordinates. South Croydon. <gasps> You're a good girl, Sarah. Oh, look, it's too late apologizing. Now everything's packed. I've got to go. How did you know? What? Well, I've had the call from Gallifrey. So? So I can't take you with me. You've got to go. Oh, come on. I can't miss Gallifrey. Look, I was only joking. I didn't mean it. Hey, hey you're not going to regenerate again, are you? Not this time. I don't know what's going to happen. You're playing one of your jokes on me, just trying to make me stay. No. I've received the call. And as a Time Lord, I must obey. Alone? Yes. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a love to Harry and the Brigadier. Oh, and I can tell Professor Watson that you're all right. We've landed, and... Sarah. What? We've landed. Where? South Croydon. Hillview Road, to be exact. That's my home. Well, I'll be off then. Forget me. Oh, Sarah. Don't you forget me. Bye, Doctor. Bye. You know, travel does broaden the mind. Yes. Till we meet again, Sarah. Hillview Road. I bet it isn't even South Croydon. Oh. <laughs> you knew it. Hey. Hey. You. He blew it. Somebody just passed me this and says, don't forget to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. Well, how could I possibly forget that? For goodness sake. You've got the message, haven't you? Don't forget Doctor Who YouTube channel now.